The windmill exercise can be done with either a dumbbell or a kettlebell. You want to get it to the shoulder, press it up over your head, and then turn your toes away from the weight. You can spread your feet out slightly, and then your hips are going to go in the opposite direction. So my hips are going to go that way, backwards, bending the knees slightly, push the hips back, and then once you feel like you can't bend anymore at the legs and the hips, you're going to stop right there. So let the other arm go straight down. If you keep reaching and reaching and reaching, you're going to bend your back instead of at your hips and uh, instead of at your hips. So I've done that plenty of times. It does not feel good the next day. So let's keep it under control. Go down until you feel that sticking point, and then you can come back up. <laughs> 